Hello, my name is Kara McLeod and I work in the Marketing Communications Department with the City of Raleigh Parks, Recreation and Cultural Resources Department. Um, and we are celebrating Arbor Day, which is a national holiday where we celebrate all things trees. Um, this year, we asked our followers on social media to send us their tree related questions for our urban forester. And today I am here with Zach Manor. Zach, can you tell people who you are and a little bit about your job? Sure, as you said, my name is Zach. Um, I'm the urban forester for the city of Raleigh. We're in the Parks, Recreation and Cultural Resources Department. So we oversee and manage trees on public property. So that includes rights of way, parks, greenways, other city owned and controlled properties. We also do development review. So we review for uh, new development for street trees, tree protection, um, protected buffers and tree conservation areas. So. Trees in real life and on paper both fall within our uh, scope of work. So we're the tree folks for Raleigh. Awesome. So we're going to jump right in with our first question. Um, someone asked, how can we make sure that the city of Raleigh remains the city of Oaks with increased in development? All right. Well, that's that's a good challenge, something we all work towards. Um, with Raleigh being a great place to live, lots of people want to move here. So that means lots of extra development. Um, so with that comes a lot of responsibilities as individual citizens as well. So what we really say is plant trees whenever you can. Um, you can plant a tree at your house. If you talk to your neighbor, you can plant a tree at their house. Um, some larger scale options would be to work with your neighborhood, your HOA, your street to kind of find areas within your community that you can plant. You can also partner with the city to plant in the right of way, those same groups. HOAs, neighborhood groups, streets um, will help you identify some locations in the right of way and you can work on planting with us. Um, the other thing we always suggest is volunteering for tree planting events. The city, the county, um, nonprofit groups are holding tree plantings uh, on a regular basis. So sign up, get out there, help out and do your part by planting a tree. So they say that uh, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. So that's my recommendation. 